Hello, welcome again to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the Cayman Islands and why it's a good option for obtaining the residency there, focusing in crypto investors. Why Cayman Islands? Cayman Islands have a robust regulatory framework, what's going to give you safety, security, in case that you want to get a residency there and move your crypto funds. You will have a secure environment for financial activities. If you want to make investment, you can create a company there. So it's a good place, safe, and for sure you will receive privacy in all the transactions that you will do in Cayman Islands. Say that you are looking for obtaining a second passport and you apply for the citizenship by investment and you spend some time in the island where let's say San Quita Nevi, Siwan Barbuda or for example if you have a businesses in Panama, have your bank account in Panama, for sure Cam Cayman Islands can be a good place to have the residency in case that you are a crypto investor. Let's talk a little bit about the financial situation of the island. The last year, the GDP growth was 2.7. Then the inflation rate varied between 2 to 3%. And Cayman Islands, it have a very good tax benefit for new residents. Let's say that you're not going to have direct tax on income. So the income that you earn abroad of the Cayman Islands you need to pay taxes in the islands. You not have capital gains and or inheritance so you will receive a lot of tax advantages in case that you choose the islands like your second home what are the benefits for the crypto investors the cama that is the institution of the government that take care of the regulations for crypto investors gives you the possibility for a secure environment for your transactions so you will have a clear regulatory framework in case that you want to develop your crypto business in Cayman Islands. Then one of the best benefits is privacy. You will have strong privacy law which is going to give you for sure privacy and before lawsuits, before any problem that you can have, Cayman Islands is a good space to keep out of the radar. The high standard of living is another of the benefits that also can be a con because you will have a high standard of living but the cost of living is also high. You will have an excellent healthcare system and the climate if you enjoy the beach and, and, and you are more than 26, 27, 30 degrees friendly with that probably we will see the Cayman Islands like a favorable climate. It's a strategic location in case that you deal with South America, with North America, as I told you before, in case that you already obtain a citizenship by investment. It's very friendly with this kind of markets for this location. Also, you are uh, near of, of Florida if you are a US citizen. For America, it's, it's, it's a strategic location and you are not also so far from Europe, uh, probably six, seven hour fly. In case that you are from UAE or, or, or from Asia, probably this location is not going to be the best for you, but I'm probably we need to find other jurisdictions with the same benefits that can switch with your goal. What are the disadvantages of Cayman Islands? The first one is the cost of living can be high, but for high network individuals and privacy, you can have the, the best of, of this equal, this equality, let's say. And then for banking, you will have challenges. Not only banks are crypto, crypto friendly, but there are banks that are crypto friendly. We will give you the right advice where open or where no open bank accounts because sometimes it's a little bit bureaucratic and slow but there are other banks that work very well how to secure your global citizens concert pro you need to have an income if you are an individual of more than 100,000 usd per year if you are a couple 150,000k and if you are a family, $180,000 per year that you can demonstrate to the government that this is your income and you can support yourself in Cayman Islands. The application process is, is very simple. I mean, you will have the initial step to recover all the documentation. Then you need to sum submit the documentation through the Cayman Island Department of Tourism. And then you will obtain the global citizen card. I like the, the name of 
Global Citizen Certificate. It's, it's nice. The approval and the residency going to be the first application going to be valid up two years. But then the government give you the possibility to renew this residency in case that all the requirements are met. Then if you want to obtain a permanent residency, there are other programs that you can go directly, but you need to make a big investment in the country. What are the regulatory environment for cryptocurrencies? BASS below that give you, that regulates cryptocurrency businesses and source compliance with international standards. So it will give you safety and privacy. Then tax action, you're not going to have taxes in your income, capital gains or anything, so you will be tax free in case that you are a crypto investor in Cayman Island. And then you will have ongoing development because Cayman Islands try to be always up to date. So the regulatory framework is improving all the time. I mean, the conclusion is is a good option. You will have some challenges about the banking system. You're not going to pay taxes. That is very, very good. And for sure, if you are US citizen or if you are from South America or if you already are involved in having business in North Central of South America, this strategic location can be beneficial for you. So in case that you are interested in this or other options, I leave you uh, a Calendly link below where you can talk uh, directly with me so we can see what are the best options for your residency process, for your citizenship process. If you are a crypto investor, what are the best passport for crypto investors? Leave your comment below. Uh, and if you are interested in that I'm talking about other program for crypto investors, let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.